and their children forever true. The Old Hunters, the first and only planned add-on for Bloodborne, accomplishes what so few pieces of DLC manage. It feels absolutely essential. With new weapons, new bosses, and a sizable new nightmare to wander, The Old Hunters is filled with plenty to uncover. Although the sheer amount of stuff in the expansion is commendable, its greater strengths are nuanced and sinister. The Old Hunters reveals that the hopeless world of Bloodborne is even darker and more repulsive than previously thought. It's willing to give players vital new answers while simultaneously drawing them deeper into madness. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn, then, eh? At first, there's a skewed familiarity present. The opening section is very reminiscent of a Yarnum you've already explored, but the way it's all stitched together has changed. In several spots, you'll walk through shallow rivers of blood with strange, clay-like creatures protruding out of the ground as if the entire area is being consumed by some great unknown force. Rabid hunters, clearly once protectors of this accursed place, now patrol streets or hide in the shadows, waiting to pounce when least expected. Their constant aggression can immediately put you on edge, no matter how much Bloodborne you've previously played. In the main game, Yarnum begins as a city on the verge of collapse, but here, it's a destitute wasteland well beyond hope. Oh, blood! Of all the new locations, none is more haunting than the research lab. Lamps emitting a deep green light are spread throughout, and crisscrossing stairways make everything feel like one giant maze. Insane patients with enormous bloody bags over their heads lunge and viciously claw at you on sight. Some patients are in worse shape than others. Several are nothing more than red lumps on the ground that spew forth tentacles when provoked as the last meager defense they can muster. Listen, class, and you too will. Few areas from Bloodborne or the Souls games feel so densely packed with despair. Not all of the patients are hostile, some spout utter nonsense. One desperately seeks approval from a mysterious master, and another is pitifully looking through a small pool for his eyes, asking if you've seen them. These aren't just monsters to be slain and looted from, but rather people whose faith has led to endless suffering. Even if you, as a player, don't understand how or why it all happened, Bloodborne constructs its sorrow so meticulously that you feel it regardless. Say something. Anything. A common complaint about Bloodborne is that it lacks sufficient weapon variety. It's hard to imagine the same thing being said now that the old hunters exists. After carefully scouring every area, we collected a dozen new weapons and still haven't received the trophy for getting them all. These weapons are surprising, brutal, and occasionally grotesque. One of the best is the Whirligig Saw. It slices through beast flesh as sparks fly all around, making for quite an impressive show. The weapon's reach and raw strength give it value beyond just flashiness. Another favorite, the Amygdalan Arm, is one of the most bizarre weapons in the game. A slimy Lovecraftian appendage shoots forth from the base club in a wide arc. Even if you don't end up using the arm, it's worth collecting just to watch the thing squirm. The most important aspect of these new additions is how greatly they mix things up. We don't want to spoil all of the surprises, but some weapons cleverly rewrite the rules, making the old hunters feel wonderfully playful when it comes to combat. While it's hard to comment on things like PvP balance so early on, experimenting with all the new possibilities is more than enough to keep players busy for the time being. Several of the boss fights in the old hunters are among the most intense and intimate in the entire game. The first is especially savage, so much so that we actually felt severely under-leveled and under-equipped. The boss is relentless, erratic, and can cover a huge space in very little time. Just when you think you're getting somewhere, his second form is capable of tearing you apart in a flash. Surprisingly, the next fight is much different. Despite being visually spectacular, it's so easy and straightforward that we couldn't help but wish a more challenging and memorable battle existed in its place. Those that do struggle in the DLC can find aid by joining the League, a new faction found in the Forbidden Woods that incentivizes cooperation. In so many ways, The Old Hunters is everything you could want. It enriches the world and makes combat more exciting than ever. Above all, though, The Old Hunters reminds us how outstanding Bloodborne really is. It features misery and pain, but it also has a fascinating obsession with the unknown. The game shows us that marvelous, incomprehensible things could be out there, somewhere, waiting to destroy us. Oh, Help us. Oh. Oh.
Sun.